Doctors told the parents of this baby boy their son may only have 48 hours to live. That was almost two months ago. Tonight, this miracle baby is beating all the odds. We first told you about baby Daniel back in May. Tonight, at five months old, he is still fighting. 7 Action News reporter Tom Wade has the life and death struggle from Plymouth. When baby Daniel left the hospital, doctors told his parents he may have only 48 hours to live. That was two months ago. Tonight, baby Daniel appears as vibrant as any healthy five-month-old. I never thought that today he would be here on my lap. Baby Daniel's ordeal began shortly after he was born in Port-au-Prince, Haiti's capital. Doctors discovered he was suffering from a rare blood disorder known as HLH. When you look at him, you can't really tell, but uh, he's, still, he's still really sick since we don't know exactly the, 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 final, the final diagnosis, what it is about. But so far, you know, they, we know that he may have HLH, which um, is a very uh, serious um, blood disorder, I think. That, uh, and they told us that the only way to fix it is to do a uh, bone marrow replacement. That's what they told us. Junior quickly realized his son would not survive in Haiti's overcrowded and under-equipped hospital system. So he reached out to his friend Sarah Parker here in Plymouth. The two met while Sarah was doing volunteer work in Haiti. Junior worked as a translator. I had contacted um, my foster kids and adoptive kids pediatrician at U of M, Dr. Matthew Davis, and asked him if he was, if there was anything that he could do or that he'd know that would help. And help they did. U of M sent a special team of doctors to Haiti and flew baby Daniel back to Ann Arbor. It was touch and go for the first few days. His heart stopped. He went into respiratory distress. Um, they brought him back and he was on a um, respirator ventilator for a couple days and they did not think he was going to come off. Doctors worked day and night to solve the mystery of Daniel's blood disorder. And while a cause has still not been determined and Daniel was released, he continues to see his U of M doctor and alternative treatments are underway. As chiropractors, we need to make sure that the nervous system is clear and that's adjusting the spine to make sure that all the nerves are health healthy and going to where they need to go. Baby Daniel's father and mother are holding on to their faith that their son will keep fighting. I love him so much and we have a lot of friends, a lot of people, you know, who've, who've been praying and help in so many different ways, you know. I, I'm just praying that uh, God has mercy on him and save his life. In Plymouth, I'm Tom Wade, 7 Action News. And while doctors search for a cure, the family has set up a Facebook page. If you'd like to check in on Daniel's progress or even help the family, just visit our website, wxyz.com.